Hello, hello, hello. Today is May 14, 2020. I would like to make a few comments regarding problem 86, which is the problem with the coin, 25 cent metal coin, I have a piece that looks like a piece of plastic and when I put it on the coin, put the coin on the table, I put it on the, on the coin, I can see through it, I turn it over and I put it on the coin and it's black. And the question that I have is, what is the physics behind it? Roughly, if I try to be generous, I have, a, I have seen about 100 answers and only two I think are correct. I want to know the physics and then a separate issue is how would we call a plate like this? Many of you say they're polarizers. Well, if it were a linear polarizer, I'll show you. This is a linear polarizer. If you put that on the coin either this way or that way, you will see exactly the same coin. It will never be black. So just mentioning the word polarizers is not too useful. Now, perhaps it has something to do with polarization, but it's a totally inadequate explanation. Some people say, ah, it has to do with one-way mirrors. Nothing to do with one-way mirrors. Some people say, ah, it's, it's just the way my car windows are. Nonsense, your car windows are not that way. Many say it has to do with the Brewster angle. Other nonsense, it has nothing to do with the Brewster angle. Some of you very cleverly say, well, the piece is a linear, is a circular polarizer. And so circularly polarized light reaches the coin. But when it is reflected off the coin, it reverses direction. And so the two directions cancel each other out. Wrong physics. That's not the reason why it's completely black in one position. So rather than making comments like polarization, uh, it's like my car windows, I want step by step an explanation of the physics. Step by step, what happens when the radiation goes into, through the plate, if I call this a plate, when it reaches the metal, and when it's then reflected of the metal, step by step. Why then in one situation, when the light comes back at me, it's totally black, I see no light, almost no light, and why in the other case, you do see the coin. That's the goal. Only two people really have that sequence correct. You will have another week, so don't worry. But don't waste your time by using words like polarization or some people say these are linear polarizers. It's all wrong. It's meaningless because you don't give the physics. All right, May 14, 2020. It is not an easy problem. It's the physics that most of you have never seen. Some of you use the word bivringence, just the word bivringence. Well, yeah, of course it's bivringence. 
I mentioned that in the problem. I mentioned myself the word by Vrinsens. And even on the text that I write with the problem, I use the word by Vrinsens. So that's a given. So you don't have to <laughs> tell me that it has to do with by Vrinsens. All right. It's not an easy problem. And it is far beyond high school physics and probably far beyond most first-year physics courses. Don't feel bad if you can't do it. It's perfectly okay. You will see my solutions in about a week. And they may even be so complicated <laughs> that you may not even be able to follow the solutions. But I will try. I have not taped the solutions yet, which is very unusual for me. Normally, I tape the solutions when I also tape the problem. This time, I waited purposely because I wanted to see your answers first. All right. Have a nice day. Take care. And I repeat what I said earlier. It's okay if you cannot do the problem. We will be friends no matter what. Irrelevant whether you can do the problem or not. It's really true. <laughs>